kids being bullied, sometimes to death. This week is holding its second summit to combat bullying. Police are investigating an apparent suicide by a teenage girl and the role cyberbullying may have played. For bullying. Bullying. Bullies. Bullying. Bullying. He uh, pushed me and then uh, I fell down. Nobody liked me. Because I was a short one, I was the nerd, I was the geek. I had big ears when I was a kid. I was called Dumbo. It's called girl, faggot, gay, homo. And then he said to me, you are a f The other two girls would gang up on me. I'm retarded, I'm actually being called that. This year I wanted to do something special, something important. I decided to talk about bullying. Bullying is um, not appropriate. I think it's um, not okay. You hear stories about kids not going to school, get beaten up, threatened, made fun of, and even committing a suicide. I was tormented to the point where if I didn't have a support system of my parents, family, I might have killed myself. I'm so glad more and more people are talking about this topic. I was always made fun of for things that I would wear to the point where I was being yelled at from across the way. Those stigmas of how they treated me never went away. I still remember those distinct moments when they just didn't want me around. I was like that one girl who everybody decided to gang up against. I know that Breezy has been bullied. I don't understand why they do that, like why they were being mean to her. I've lost a couple friends because I've seen them say things about my friends and I decide not to be friends with them anymore. I was bullied in middle school and high school. They would call me dumb and irresponsible, which I'm none of those things. I mean, who made him king of the school? Seriously. I hear people say the word retarded. I think it's used towards me. I would go home every single day crying to my mom. People are making fun of me, people are making fun of me. I hate my ears. They all sat on the right side of the classroom when I was the only one on the left. I am not condoning this, and it's not for everybody, but um, I did have my ears pinned back. They were all bullies by, by not liking me or giving me a chance to be their friend. It's not a solution, and it's not gonna make the problems go away, and you still need to address them. You still need to talk about them. Don't let anyone tell you that you're stupid or you're dumb. We'll all go on who we are, and we we'll need to realize that everyone is different. Everyone has their own experiences and difficulties, and everyone has to understand that. But I saw what affected other people, and it tore at me, and I really wanted to be there and do something about it, but I didn't know what, and this is my chance to show people that you can make a difference and be there. If someone's being bullied, don't just stand there. Get in there and stop it from happening. Some people aren't as lucky, and some people do kind of take what other girls or guys say to them more to heart. Don't try and change yourself to please other people. They're gonna find reasons to make fun of you. If you are getting bullied, you must tell someone, tell your teacher. Tell the principal, tell your family, tell anyone. You have to tell someone. You realize that everything that I'm doing now is something I want to do and had nothing to do with bullying, but I had to find that out for myself. It's not good enough to just stand there and watch and be afraid to say something. You gotta stand up for other people who can't do it themselves. When you don't let the bully know that they're getting a reaction out of you. Most of the time they'll stop because it's not fun anymore. You should treat people the same way you like to be treated. Like I like to be treated with fries and ketchup. I feel like I'm a stronger person because of it and I got through it. I'm probably more successful than most of them who bully me. I mean, I've got a full-time job, I'm doing really, really well. I had other outlets. For me, it's performing, it's singing, it's being on stage. So tonight, I want to share the song called Finally Done by one of my favorite young singers named Anthony Gargiula. It's about being free to be who I am and about stopping the bullying and staying true to your dreams. Together, we're strong. Together, we can stand up for ourselves. I hope you enjoy it.